Hello, Vertical Bricks here, and today I will be teaching you how to make lightsaber effects using GIMP. So, first thing you're going to want to do is go to File, Open, and then go ahead and find the pictures you took that you want the uh, lightsaber effect in. Once you've imported those, you're going to want to go to the Lasso tool. Now that you've selected the Lasso tool, go ahead and scroll, uh, use Control and scroll of your mouse wheel to scroll all the way in to uh, as close as you can get to the uh, beginning part of your lightsaber. And then from there, just left click and select all around your lightsaber. That should be good. All right, as soon as you're done uh, selecting your lightsaber, a little line like this will appear. It's a little dotted black and white line. That means that you have selected this part of your image. And then from there, we're going to add a new layer. So this layer, everything should be uh, normal. It's what you want. The opacity should be 100, and it should have transparency. And everything else should just automatically fill in for you. So all you should have to do is press a new layer and OK. But if not, go ahead and look at my settings and copy those. Now that you have your new layer, you're going to want to go ahead, find the color you want to use for uh, your lightsaber, the, the like color of it. So you're going to want to, for mine, I'm going to use red, because this is Savage Opress, he's a Sith. Uh, and then once you've found your uh, first color, you want to go ahead and find your second color, which will be white. And then from there, you're going to want to use the fill bucket, which is here, to uh, go ahead and fill our selected area. You do this just by clicking inside of the selected area. So now we have our first layer, and it's all red. Now we're going to uh, create another layer, same settings as the last one, and it's going to be on top of our last layer. And from here, we're going to just simply switch our color uh, to white and select the same thing. And now you can see it, it already sort of looks like a lightsaber. Not really, but we're getting closer. All right, and now we're going to uh, con press Control and A to deselect this uh thing that we were selecting before this uh, part and now what we're going to want to do is uh, duplicate our first layer that we made with the red lightsaber part and from there now we're going to want to uh, select the bottom lightsaber part so like the layer that's just above your normal picture you can see here it's the normal picture and then you want you want this first layer uh, and so now I'm going to go over to filters Click on filters, go to blur, and go to Gaussian blur. And from here, th this really depends on the image. There's not like one set thing, but the closer you are normally, the higher you want it. So since these guys are pretty close, I'm going to put it at like 105. And then so this next layer, you're going to want to do the same thing. Filters, blur, Gaussian blur. But then for this, you're going to want about half of what you had before. Not exactly half, but about half. So I'm going to go ahead and put it at like 57. I normally do more than half by a couple uh, pixels. And then just simply do OK. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to, we're going to select our uh, bottom white layer, our first one. Go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and then choose a, a really low, normally it's pretty low even when you're uh, very close. You probably want to do like a 8-ish here, I don't know. Uh, really depends what you want. Maybe a 10. De depends what you like. I normally go with uh, more red than white. So more red glow than white. Uh, so I'm going to go with an 8.5. That looks pretty good. All right. And now you, you could honestly quit just with that. But if you want to make it a little better, uh, use that duplicated layer from earlier. Then now it should be the top layer. And select that. And now go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And then also, this has no, no correlation whatsoever with the last layer. This Just make this whatever. Uh, I probably do about, I don't know, uh, 7.5? Yeah, that looks about good. What that does is it like blurs the lightsaber pretty much just to uh, mix in with the red and the other layer of white. And from there, you should be pretty much done. Yeah, that looks good.